University of Montana in Missoula. University of Montana School of Journalism, this is from the Missoulian newspaper, rejects conservative coal lecturer. Let me read some of this. A University of Montana benefactor is reevaluating future giving to the School of Journalism after the dean declined to host a conservative writer as its annual Cole lecturer. Donor Maria Cole was married to the late Wall Street Journal reporter for whom the Jeff Cole Legacy Fund is named and has given more than $1.2 million over the last 15 years to the School of Journalism. In the last nine years, Cole has sponsored the Jeff Cole Distinguished Lecture, inviting former colleagues of her husband to speak. She wanted the 10th anniversary to be different and decided to create an event that would spark civil discourse. Each year, Cole said she selects a lecturer and the School of Journalism chooses a scholarship recipient. After vetting potential candidates for speakers, she invited and entered into a contract with Mike Adams, former, um, excuse me, professor at the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. Adams won a First Amendment case in the Fourth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in 2011, and he's a columnist for townhall.com, which aims to amplify conservative voices in political debates. For the first time in the tradition of the annual event, School of Journalism Dean Larry Abramson objected to the lecturer Cole selected, a, re a reaction Cole said she never anticipated. She said Adams twice she said, Adams has twice been voted best professor at UNC, and he's a longtime defender of free speech, a foundation of journalism. <laughs> Used to be a foundation of journalism. I was so stunned, Cole said. How can you say, especially the dean of journalism school, how can you say you support free speech and deny this guy to come to campus? Cole said she'll continue to sponsor a scholarship, but she is reconsidering other contributions. Good for her. Abramson said, Adams may reserve space on campus if he chooses, but the School of Journalism will not sponsor his lecture. The dean defended his move as one that's best for the students and said Adams lacks the credentials to appear. This week, the president of the American Council of Trustees and Alumni called the School of Journalism's decisions, quote, shameful, especially for a journalism school teaching principles ensconced in the First Amendment. The ACTA, ACTA, is a conservative watchdog and proponent of academic freedom that advocates on a variety of higher education issues. We're still at a point in our country where people, excuse me, let me reread that. We're at such a point in our country where people are so polarized on opposite ends, Cole said, people can't even engage in civil discourse anymore. And that's true on both sides of the political aisle, by the way. So she contacted the agency that sent her dozens of bios of potential speakers and she narrowed it down she selected Adams because he has a different viewpoint and a very interesting story defending free speech as a professor. His story is very engaging, a very good one. It's about freedom of expression, Cole said. She was so thrilled about his upcoming appearance that she drove to Abramson's office to share the news with him in person. Cole said three minutes after she walked out of his office, the dean tracked her down, called her back to tell her he wasn't sure Adams was right for the lecture after reading about him online. It was like an exploding cigar in my face, she said. Cole said she made her case. She raised the issue of U of M, University of Montana's own, quote, beautifully written, unquote, free speech and academic freedom policy. She also said that she has a lot of faith in the students. And then her skipping down, her arguments did not fly with Abramson. In an email to her, he outlined his objections. Here's what he said. If you jump in at 3.30, that would have been on one of his 
speeches that he was watching. If you jump in at 3.30 on the link at the bottom, you can hear him talking about his, op his opposition to tolerance of transgender accommodations. He appears to be siding with Christians in the culture war. Oh, my. Ban that fellow for sure. He goes on, still quoting Abramson. He talks about his efforts to make sure that abortion providers give time to Christian speakers in the interest of freedom of speech. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding. You're gonna give Christian speakers an opportunity to speak? Egads, what's happening? He also talks about the prevalence of cultural Marxism. Yes, sir, and Mr. Abramson, you are living proof cultural Marxism exists in the University of Montana. I said that. That wasn't in the... <laughs> he talks about why he will no longer allow illegal aliens into his classes. Oh, no. You got to obey the law. In the last paragraph, he said, I think we can find a speaker who will talk about free speech issues without running the risk of offending students. Abramson, you're not worried about this speaker offending students. You're offended. That's your problem. And you are punishing the students by denying them an education in a free environment in the classroom because of your personal bigotry.